Hey, this is Tony Ross from creativecow.net and I'm going to actually work on something. This is posed in the form of how to actually have a movie clip playing uh, once it does a rollover show. If you actually roll over something uh, and then moved out, it would continue to play the animation. But if our cursor stayed over it, it would constantly play the animation in a loop. Uh, so here is the deal. This is uh, one possible solution. I'm going to go here to my main timeline. Uh, basically, I've created a little spin MC. This is a movie clip. I'm going to double click on here and show you what this is actually built of. Um, I did a basic little circle that I've got a little dot here so you can see. This is going to be a red dot on the beginning, and the rest of them are green. Uh, frame one and two are the same. Uh, and this is going to be our little animation. Okay, I've also got a buttons layer and I've got an actions layer. So, this is one possible solution. It's not the only one, uh, but here's one possible solution for doing this. I'm going to make a button real quick. I'm going to copy this little guy, and what I'm going to do is my Command C, that's Control C on PC. Uh, let me paste this in place on my buttons layer. Command Shift V, and that's paste in place, and that's Control Shift V on PC. I'm going to go ahead and break this one apart. Command B, Control B on PC, and I'm going to go ahead and make this. Now this is just shape again. I'm going to go ahead and make this into a button, actually an invisible button. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my function key F8 and make this a little button, invisible button. All right, and click OK. Uh, I'm going to simply double click on here to go into the button timeline. Simply drag the sky over. Okay, now going to double click on the stage just to go backwards and that little highlighted blue thing just simply means it's an invisible button okay next thing I want to do let's go to my actions layer I'm going to open up my actions here and just do a simple little I'm going to go the old school way and just do a stop okay let's close it out so we've got a stop there we've got our button layer alright I'm going to lock these other guys now, I'm going to make sure I'm selecting the button, so my actions even say button. And what I want to do is do a simple thing. Uh, I'm just going to say when you roll over this guy on, let's see, roll over. What I want you to do is this dot, and I could be typing a lot of this out, but oh well, play. Okay, now uh, let's close that out. Let's test this out real quick. Let's do command return, control enter on PC. So that should, that's doing exactly what we needed to do currently. Okay, but the thing is, what we want to have happen is if we keep uh, the cursor over this like we are now, it should keep looping. So let's go ahead and make that happen. What I did was came here to the final frame on my button layer and entered a keyframe, F6. Go to my actions and oh, make sure I'm, this says actions frame. Don't want the frame. I actually want to make sure it says actions button. Okay, so instead of this play, what I want to do is this go to and play and I'm going to have it do a different number this go to and play two, as in frame 2 now if you remember frame 1 and frame 2 are exactly alike so basically once it leaves from here if the if it's still doing a rollover it'll go to frame 2 versus frame 1 frame 1 there's a stop so we're telling it to go to frame 2 and play so if we've done this correct, I'm going to go ahead and test this out. Command return, that's control enter on PC. So we have that. So if we roll off and roll out, we only have that doing once. But if we move over here, this should continue going. Okay? And what if we move out? It stops. Okay? Curses over it, constantly keeps going. Move out, it stops. We just do that, it stops. Okay? This has been Tony Ross with creativecow.net, and remember, keep it simple, make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.